An inhaling driver, Jeremiah Adeniro, has confessed to kidnapping and robbing his unsuspecting female passenger but blamed his ordeal on fuel subsidy removal, which he says pushed him into crime. Adeniro, Adeniro who was paraded alongside other alleged criminals, made a confessional statement while fielding questions from newsmen in Lagos. Plus, TV News crime correspondent Lovie Kuku tells us more in this report. These are the paraded suspects. They are alleged to have been involved in varying degrees of crimes ranging from armed robbery, kidnapping, stealing, murder, vandalism, amongst others. Among them is an e-hailing driver, Jeremiah Adeniro, who specializes in robbing female passengers. Four last month, 28 was actually my first operation. Four last month. In terms of my first operation, while well, this month I I did two other operations, which was how I was caught on Friday, last week Friday, at um, Ikotun. At Ikotun, I picked up a lady along um, Ijegun Road. She was heading towards um, the last train, I think. So I picked her up around after one. I already told my two friends to just hang on the road since I know where she's going. After picking her up, I, I picked both of them up while both of them started the operation with the lady. I entered into the shop. I saw the lady that I picked up on Friday night along the Jigo Road. I saw her inside the shop. And instantly she recognized me because I was not with her. It was not. Ah, is the one. That was how I was arrested and came to um, the Kotu police station. The state police public relations officer, Benjamin Hundei, paraded Adeniro alongside other suspects on behalf of the state commissioner of police, Idu Owohumwa. In Festag area, particularly Alaki Jabosto, under Festag division, your random, your routine stop and search which some people kick against anyway, yielded results. We're able to arrest one Agbo Ichi from an Ambra state with a firearm, a Beretta pistol. This time around, we're not talking about the locally made pistol. We're not talking about the fabricated one that looks like the real thing. This is the real thing, an imported pistol that fires 9mm ammunition. So it was found with this pistol, and he, he has so far confessed, it's also here, the gun is there for display. Hunde disclosed that Owonwa launched Operation Flush to tackle pockets of crime resurfacing in parts of the state. The Commissioner of Police is assuring negotiations again and again that we have a listening ear. Um, the moment people have the confidence or develop the confidence to report cases to us, we would respond accordingly. We got information about robberies on at Orile doing bus stop, and that made the CP go there personally. We got a report of petty um, crime around 1004 estates, and if you ask the residents of 1004 estates, if you know if you know anyone, they ask, and they will tell you that the CP was there personally yesterday. He reassured Legosians that the command is not leaving in his turn and turn to ensure adequate security of lives and property. Love Ikuku Uyeduko, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.